Hey guys, welcome. Uh, I'm starting to do it already. Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Whisker Fight TV. Um, it's pretty much just me sitting here. I'm gonna try for once a fortnight. Mm, we're going for bi monthly at the moment. Bi monthly. Um, it's just me sitting here drinking whiskey, telling you guys all about it. Now, I have two bottles in front of me. Uh, the first one is Russell's Reserve. It's a ten-year-old whiskey from my favorite part of the world, Kentucky. Um, so it's classified as a bourbon. Um, and then also from the right, we've got another one, which is Maker's 46. It is also from Kentucky. So for them both to be classified as a bourbon, they have to be made in Kentucky, have a certain amount of mash and the rest of the fun stuff. Um, now I'm keen to crack it open. This one has already been opened. I sampled some the other night delicious stuff. So I'm going to attempt to remove the plastic. I'm going to be unable to remove the plastic without... Ah, oh, a bit of a sniffy sniff. Um, that Um, just got my, uh, dual wall glasses here, so pour myself a little bit. Um, this stuff has come from Lawrence Berg, I believe. Um, it's all, it's all bottled in Kentucky. It's, see if there's anything on there I can tell you about it. Uh, it's a 10 year old, 10 year old uh, bourbon. It's 45% uh, alcohol, which is 90 proof. So you pretty much just half the proof, get your percentage. Um, well, it's just as, uh, it gives you a little bit of tasting notes on there, it's just Rich, spicy vanilla flavors, so that'll be interesting to wrap my lips around. Just kind of bring that into frame there for you guys so you can see it. Be very gentle with it. Uh, the trusty water here as well. Kind of wet the palate a little bit. Yeah. So. Pretty much as everyone, you know, you'll sniff alcohol and it's just like very strong, but you're getting those, it's like a sweet, sweet sense coming off it, but um, it's very, as I sound, they're very vanilla -y, so. <laughs> that was not the best place to pull. We may have to chop that out. <laughs> okay. So, I definitely drank way too much of that, so I'm going to try again. <coughs> so what that is, because when you, you swallow it, what they call... Kentucky hug, so when you're consuming it, it kind of goes down here and it just warms you up in here. But when you do that and do what I just did, and you get that burn in the back of your throat, that's just like the potency of the alcohol. Um, but I, I pretty much just got all burnt, but when I was, I just had it in my mouth for a little bit, and it was just highlighting notes along the top of my tongue and then going down the side uh, close to the back of my mouth so but no as I said um, just really sweet notes to it um, like caramel getting like just highlighting just the sweeter side in there so uh, I'm gonna move along to this stuff um, 
little bit of history on it. I want to say Bill Samuels Jr., um, which was the son of the founder of Maker's Mark. Um, he f decided to come up with his own blend because when his dad died, he didn't really have anything. Uh, so he came up with this uh, Maker's 4046, 40, which is basically just regular Maker's Mark in the white oak um, barrels with your eight staves. Keep going. <laughs> Am I right or no? Yeah. Okay, you're surprised that I remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's your, your white staves in there for nine weeks and then reserved out as this. So, this is. Um, typical price point, I've seen it go from like $80 to $90 a bottle compared to your $60 to $70 a bottle. I was going to go high and, bit like high and low contrast for you guys, but just decided to go, eh, I've opened this one the other night, so I want to hook in a little bit of dust on there because I've had it sitting around for a few years. Um, also, fun fact about this, every single bottle is hand dipped. Um watch the workers hand dip this stuff in uh, their Loretto distillery um, it's a cool thing cool thing to watch uh, so yeah I'd kick this one off with a sniffy sniff hey, yeah, yeah. Cool. see I'm not getting that really alcoholic flavour from just that initial sense and it as I said like it's just the sweetest side of uh, the alcohols oh, I handled that one a lot better than what I did that one um, that one so this one starts at the very tip of the tongue works its way back but it's not it's not too coarse, so you know you're having a couple of those. It's totally different having a few of those, um, but it's very, it's very sweet. Like that stuff, it's got the the natural oak, and that's what the uh, the oaky flavour comes from. Because they have to use uh, the white oak barrels, American white oak barrels, but. Um, yeah, definitely a lot smoother if you're just going by the by the glass. Um, super caramelly. Uh, definitely good if you want to mix it up with a cocktail. Solo is a way to go with bourbons, but I'll show you guys later. I might do a little how-to video. Um, what else can I tell you about this one? This one is actually 47%, so it's a higher proof. Oh, excuse me, than what that is, which is really interesting because they've obviously mellowed out the alcohol flavor. Um, but yeah, um, do you like to compare the colors of the two in the actual glasses up close to the camera? Okay, yeah, we can, we can do that. Compare the colors, yeah. it actually looks like the one on the right, which is the makers has a lot darker of colour which usually has to do with the the ageing which is interesting because your Russells is sat in a barrel for longer but since all the all the 46's are, are blended you are they blended? Chop it up for me. I'll, uh... I don't think they're blended. Start from the... Because I think they're single barrel. 
Stand by. Fun fact, actually, that stuff right there, this bad boy, is actually uh, a sister company of Jim Beam. Yes, there you go, that's fun fact of the day. Um... All Maker's Mark is small batch. Ah, oh, okay. So it isn't single barrel, but it's not telling us whether it's blended or not. Because this is this is small batch, as in they're only making a couple at a time, because they'll do the run of, they're not constantly running. So their definition, this is Maker's Mark definition. Okay. A bourbon that is produced or distilled in small quantities of approximately a thousand gallons or less, which is about twenty barrels, from a mash bill of around two hundred bushels of grain. Yeah. Um, okay, so it is. By the sound of things, it is blended, because it's blended between the barrels of this, but it's not single barrel. Like single barrel is in, you're getting one bottle of single barrel. It has come from one 205 litre barrel compared to blended, which is made up of different components of three barrels. Um, but yeah, that's, I guess that's the first episode of Whiskify TV, um, comparing these two delicious delicious bottles of uh, of gold deliciousness um, I'm gonna save you two bad boys for later because anyway um, thank you for watching and yeah just stay tuned for the next episode of Whiskify TV thanks guys